Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Let's talk today about how you can access your IP camera directly from your laptop when you have an NVR between them. Okay, so it's pretty simple. I'm going to explain what I have here related to the network, related to IP range, so you can understand better. So the first thing that I have is the laptop. It is connected here to my switch. You can have a switch or a, or a router. In this case, I have a switch. And this switch is also connected here to the NVR. And then I have the NVR port connected to the camera. So we have different networks here, talking about uh, IP range. For the camera, I have one IP range. And here, I have a different IP range. So the NVR has two different IP ranges here. This one is the same IP range as the laptop. Okay, they are basically in the same IP range. That's the reason I can have access to the NVR but not directly access to the camera because of the difference of the networks here. Let me just come to the NVR interface so I can show you better what I mean. So basically here is the NVR interface. I'm using a monitor. I have a mouse connected to the device so I can see here the camera connected to the NVR. And here I can see the settings, right? When I come here, I see the camera. Look at the camera's IP, 172.16. Dot 25.2. Dot okay, so I'm talking about the camera connected to this port here. Okay, so the IP range here is 172, 16, 25, dot something. And then when we come back here to the interface, we can see that the NVR itself is in a different range. As you can see here, it's using 192.168.0.245. Okay, so this interface is 192.168.0.245. So they are in a different network here. Let's take a look now at the computer. So here at my computer, when I use this IP config command, I can see here the configuration of the IP on my computer. It's using right now 192.168.0.150. So as you can see, a uh, computer and NVR are in the same network. As you can see here, 192.168.0. something here for the computer and 192.168.0. something from the NVR. That's the reason I can see the NVR. If I take a look here on my PC, I see the image from the NVR via web browser. Okay, because I'm using here the IP 192.168.0.245 here on the web browser to access the NVR. And I cannot see the cameras directly because they are in a different network, okay? So what I have to do to access my camera is to move the camera from this IP range to the same IP range that, is, that the NVR has here or the same IP range as the computer has, right? So they are basically be in the same network. So what I can do is just remove the cable from here connected here, then I have NVR, I have the PC and the camera connected to the same switch and sharing the same network, okay? Right now, who, get, who gives the camera an IP address is the NVR using this interface. When I remove from here to here, either I have to give the camera an IP address manually, assign an IP address, or the router can give the camera an IP address, okay? In this case, I have a router here on my network. This is not a router, this is a switch, but I can connect a router here. So the router can give the camera an IP address in the same range, okay? So let me do this. So let me just remove the cable here from the camera and connect it here. Now I have computer, camera, and NVR in the same network, okay? Basically connected to the same switch. And now I'm gonna uh, bring a cable from my router so I can connect here to the same switch and the router can give the camera an IP address because right now the switch cannot give an IP address to the camera. That's the router's job, right? So let me grab a cable here. Here we go. This cable comes from my router and I'm going to connect it here to this port. And now I'm good because I have here NVR, camera, router, and my PC connected to the same network, basically, okay? 
as you can see here on the screen, I have an image from the NVR, okay, which, which is 192.168.0.245. And if I come here now to the NVR interface using the monitor and the mouse that I have connected there, let me just come here so you can see it. Here's the network interface for the NVR, as we saw before. 192.168.0.245. Let's come here to the camera now. And as you can see, now the camera is using 192.168.0.106. Great. Now they are in the same network. It's not the 172 network anymore. It's 192.168.0.something. So they're basically now in the same network. So computer, uh, NVR, and camera. And the NVR can see the camera as well. As you can see here on the, on the screen, this is the NVR interface. The NVR can see the camera. Still can see it. I am not connecting to this port anymore, but it doesn't matter because the NVR is here, it's connected to the switch, and the camera is also connected to the switch. So everybody are connected to the same switch right now, and I can have access to my camera, all right? So now I have the camera's IP address, okay? This one was given by the router, this 106. What I can do now is come to my computer here, open a new web browser, here, new tab, and type now the camera's IP address. That'll be ending in 106. Then I can log in. And wait for it. And here we go. Now I have access directly to my camera because my camera is connected to the same switch here or router, whatever I'm using there, but they are now in the same range. And I can use like that. I can, I can bring more cameras like this one and connect to the other ports here to this, on the switch. And then I can have access to the camera or to the switch at the same time. I have a big advantage here that I can have access directly from the camera and as long as I have also my switch connected to the, my router, I have access to the internet. So from the internet, I can route, or put some rules on my router. I have a video here that explains port forwarding. Then I can have a rule on my router to route directly to any camera that I have connected here because I don't depend on the NVR anymore. It's not my middle man anymore. Right? I have everybody connected here to the same switch with the same IP range and I can have access directly to them. And then if you are still can record my camera and I can also have a second NVR here, let's say I connect a second NVR here and I can record to the NVR number one and to the NVR number two at the same time. So it's pretty interesting when you work like this, okay? You decentralize from your main NVR. You don't have the, the main NVR as the middleman anymore, okay? Unless you still wanna have all the cameras connected here directly to the, those ports, you can still do it, but remember that you now have access directly from your PC or from the internet, okay? So that's basically the idea. You can make it work that way, but you need to understand the concept, okay? Connect everybody to the same network, then you can do this. Okay, so remember, you can use a switch for this. It's a good idea to use a professional switch and then you can connect to your router because the switch here can have more ports. You can have PoE ports that power the cameras on and things like that. And of course, it's a professional installation when you use a switch, okay? So I hope this uh, can clear how it works because I see people asking a lot about that. They're making some confusion the way they access their, they tr they're trying to access their camera because their camera is in a, a different network. Now, I hope you can understand this better. And if you like this video, please remember, subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up in your comments. And I see you in the next one.